All right, so you're trying to figure out whether Monster Insights or Google Sidekit is a better choice for your WordPress site. So let's do a comparison of these two plugins and see the similarities and the differences by looking at four specific things, how you can install and connect them to your site, the reports they offer, their advanced features, and how much they cost. Let's get started. First, let's talk about what tools and other plugins that these two analytic plugins can connect with. Now, both plugins can connect with a Google Search Console property to bring some of your keyword data into your WordPress dashboard. And both will allow you to connect with your Google Ads so you can track conversions. And Google Scikit can install your Google Tag Manager code for you. Now, Monster Insights doesn't have that feature because most people find that they don't really need Google Tag Manager if they're using Monster Insights because it tracks so many of the events that you really need Google Tag Manager for. Okay, what about Google AdSense? Well, Google Sidekit will connect with Google AdSense account and insert the AdSense code for you as well. Now, Monster Insights also connects with AdSense, but it also lets you connect to things like Meta so you can track your Pixel ID ad conversions, your Microsoft ads so you can track conversions from Bing, WP Forms and other WordPress forms so you can track your form submissions. And then we're talking about e-commerce, WooCommerce, Easy Digital Downloads, Member Press, and other e-commerce plugins so you can set up Google Analytics e-commerce tracking. And then there's Pretty Links so you can track clicks on your affiliate links. And you've also got All-in-One SEO and Yoast so you can track your focus keywords and your SEO scores. Now, when it comes to reports, both Monster Insights and Google Sidekit allow you to see your reports right on your WordPress dashboard, but there's a huge difference in the reports you're going to see. So with Google Sidekit, you're going to get one page of reports from Google Analytics, Google Search Console, Google Ads, Google AdSense, and PageSpeed Insights, as long as you're connected with those applications. So the Google Sidekit reports include an overview report of your traffic sources, the countries, and the devices. And you're going to see a traffic report that pulls data from Search Console, plus data about unique visitors that you've received from search and key events from Google Analytics. And there's a top search queries report that shows your top keywords from Search Console. And you're going to also see a top content report that's going to show your top pages, page views, sessions, engagement rate, and session duration numbers. It has a speed report that's pulled from the page speeds insights. And you're going to get a monetization report showing your AdSense earnings. All right, now let's look at Monster Insights. Its dashboard is full of different reports. And of course, the reports are going to depend on which license level that you have. But regardless of your license level, you're going to have access to your overview report. And that's going to show you an overview of your site's data, like the number of sessions and page views and the, the average session duration. And now below that, you're going to see your new versus returning visitor data. And also a basic device breakdown. Now the overview report is also going to show you your top referral sources and the countries that are sending you the most traffic. All right, now below that, you're going to see your top posts and pages by page views. Some of the other reports that you're going to find in the Monster Insights dashboard is going to include things like your top landing pages, a source medium report, a campaigns report, a report on your social media, an affiliate link clicks report, a report for your downloads, you can see your e-commerce analytics. There's a form submission report, and there's a whole lot more. All right, now let's talk about advanced features. Google Site Kit doesn't add any advanced features beyond the connections with the different Google tools and a basic report dashboard. So if you want e-commerce tracking, well, you'll need to learn how to use Google Tag Manager or hire someone that's an analytics pro. And for things like form submission tracking and video tracking, but you'll need to either use Google Analytics Enhanced Measurement feature, which is definitely has a few flaws, or you'll have to resort to Google Tag Manager as well. But now with Monster Insights, you can easily set up advanced tracking features with just a couple of clicks. Now, if you're running an e-commerce site, well, Monster Insights allows you to easily track how your stores do it. With its e-commerce add-on, you'll see your conversion rate, the number of transactions, the revenue, the average order value, and more. And another big difference between Monster Insights and Google Site Kit is that Monster Insights allows you to automatically track your site's form conversions without having to do any special setup. And Monster Insights has another feature that Google Site Kit lacks, and that's GDPR compliance. 
Monster Insights has a simple EU compliance add-on that you can use to disable tracking and anonymize user information. Just enable the option to disable demographics, user ID tracking, and a lot more. And you can comply with privacy laws without having to do any coding. You can head over to the Monster Insights pricing page and see the whole list of what's included under each license level. All right, now let's talk about price for just a minute. Google Sidekit is like many of Google's tools. There's no charge for using the plugin. On the other hand, Monster Insights also offers a free basic version, the Monster Insights Lite, which includes the overview report, outbound link tracking, affiliate link tracking, tell and email link tracking, and more. And if you need to add more features, well, then you can just head over to the pricing page and choose the license level that best fits your site's needs. Now, we hope that this comparison between Monster Insights and Google Site Kit is going to help you to make the right choice for your site. If so, then go ahead and smash that like button and hit subscribe for even more tips on understanding your site's performance. Up next, you'll definitely want to watch this video where I show you the difference between Monster Insights and Google Analytics. We'll see you next time.